New details tonight about the proposed border wall and its effects on those who live along the Rio Grande. CBS 4 City Hernandez is live in Los Evanos after speaking to one woman who could see the construction in her own backyard. Sydney. Nicole, many residents here are concerned after government officials have made it clear a Rio Grande Valley border wall will happen, passing through many people's backyards, including that of Aleda Garcias, who has put this string up to mark exactly where the border wall will be built, showing a reminder as to the freedom she might lose. Aleda Garcia has lived on her home in Los Ebanos for over 58 years and owns a ranch and a park that will be divided by a new border wall. She says her family has owned these 30 acres for generations. Now she might lose it all after U.S. Customs and Border Protection announced this afternoon that they will be immediately reaching out to residents for rights of entry to their property. They plan on working on designs for a new border wall, along with building 35 gates in the valley in an attempt to stop human and narcotics smuggling across the southern border. However, Garcia says it is unnecessary and will ruin her property that she's worked so hard to maintain. Now, if you were to put a border wall, I feel it's just going to be like a prison cell in here. And I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's fair. Because we are human beings, we pay property taxes, we work the land as much as we can, and I feel it's just an injustice to categorize people that live along the border that are fighting the wall. The wall will cost $461 million funded by the Department of Homeland Security. Garcia says she will welcome any Border Patrol agent who comes to her property to talk about the border wall infrastructure, but she's not going down without a fight. Live in Los Evanos with complete Valley coverage, Sydney Hernandez, CBS4 Valley at 6.